We'll start on a word of prayer, first of all, okay? All right. So, Lord, thank you for this time. Thank you for this time, this music recital. Bless all those who are here. And uh, God, please just, uh, Lord, uh, may you bless this message out of your word this afternoon, God. Bless the rest of this time here. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Uh, amen. All right. I'm just going to read about five verses here, okay? If you could follow along and listen. Uh, in Luke, it's actually Luke chapter 23. Um, as some of you may know, the Lord Jesus Christ was crucified between two thieves on the cross, one on the right and one on the left, okay? And in, in the book of Luke, they refer to them as malefactors, which can also mean criminals, okay? So, um, verse 39, Luke, Luke 23, And one of the malefactors, which were hanged, railed on him, saying, If thou be the Christ, save thyself and us. But the other... The other malefactor, answering, rebuked him, saying, Dost not thou fear God, seeing that thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man, of course, the Lord Jesus, had done nothing amiss. And he said unto the Lord Jesus, Remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today... Thou shalt be with me in paradise. There is the greatest promise in the word of God, the promise of paradise, the promise of paradiso. Of all people, even though a criminal that was sentenced to death for his deeds, of all people, he was promised paradiso. My question is why, right? You may ask why. Bakit, why of all people was this criminal? We'll call him criminal number two, the one that called upon Jesus. Criminal number one mocked Jesus, but criminal number two called upon Jesus. And look at criminal number two. Look, think about one thing. He had no time to join a church, no time for any good deeds to make up for his bad deeds, no time for baptism or anything like that. So, Baki, what, what was it about it? Well, one thing, criminal number one mocked Jesus. Criminal number one did not recognize his kasalan on his sin before God. Criminal number two did, though. He recognized that he was a sinner, they needed a savior, and he called upon Jesus. He said, Lord, remember me. When thou comest into thy kingdom, what's the Bible say in Romans 10, verse 9? That thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thine heart that God had risen him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. He confessed the Lord Jesus on that cross. He confessed, he recognized who Jesus is, that Jesus is the Son of God. And he, he recognized he was without a miss. He did nothing wrong. Jesus in the middle did nothing wrong. He was the Son of God. He was a perfect sacrifice for all mankind and paid for the sins of all mankind, such as can be for us. We are all sinners. We all come short of the glory of God. We may not be as guilty, of course, as these two men. Of course not. But if we lie, we steal, we take God's name in vain. Jesus said if you even get angry at somebody without a cause, he says the same as murder. We are all sinners. That's why we are also in need of a Savior. We just rely on what God did, what Jesus did on that cross. Remember this man, criminal number two, no time for baptism, no time for good deeds to make up for his bad. He simply called upon the Lord. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says, as many received him, gave he power to become the sons of God. You call upon him once, you become a son. And you could, you could receive him today, all right? The Bible says today is a day of salvation. Uh, they asked me just to kind of share this message to get this started today. We talked about the almighty, unchangeable God. He made that promise of a paradise, a paradise to you. You could call upon him today. The Bible is clear. These things have I written to you. They may know you have eternal life if you believe on the name of the Son of God, all right? Let's just end in the word of prayer, and then we'll get the rest of the 
recital going. Dear Lord God, thank you for this time. Thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord, for the promise of paradise that you've given us that we can know you personally as our Savior. Just, Lord, please just use this message, God. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you.